take two. <laughs> Started recording it and, and I noticed that the for some weird reason the uh, well A the screen was extremely dark and secondly it kind of kept going in and out of focus so I've no idea. I mean I bought that fancy camera uh, about a year ago, cost quite a bit of money I have to say uh, but the problem with me is I haven't a clue how to work it. Um, so you know I just tend to use the kind of preset uh, settings but uh, Anyway, so listen, welcome to the last Friday Waffle of 2023. Um, where the hell has the time gone? Um, yeah, just, just mental. Um, I'm actually off out tonight. Um, I'm going out with my mate to play pool and get drunk. Although I'm saying I'm going to get drunk. I don't drink much at all these days. Very, very rarely drink. Um... And I don't do hangovers, so I probably won't have too much. But I'll be having enough that I can't drive. Obviously, if you have even one pint now, um, you, you can't drive. So looking forward to that. Um, yeah, how, how was my Christmas? I hope you guys all had a, a nice Christmas, uh, pleasant time. My Christmas was... It was... It was all right. Um... Christmas Eve, I had a few things. I mean, as you probably, uh, as you, if you watched the, the live stream I did on whatever day it was, was it last Sunday? Um, I was meant to be doing a, a Christmas Eve uh, live stream with Lawn Boys Post 1975, and uh, I had a pretty naff couple of days, and I just wasn't feeling it at all, wasn't feeling it. So I said to Dave, look, mate, I'm not going to come on for a live stream and drag it down so we'll uh, we'll reconvene till next year. <coughs> the thing is, um, this, this is going to be a bit of a, a, a negative uh, waffle. I've not been a fan of Christmas for quite a considerable number of years for different reasons. I mean, as a, a child growing up in the 70s, money was tight. So Christmases and birthdays was pretty much the only time, you know, as a child you kind of got toys. I mean, nowadays kids get all the time, but back in the 70s you, you didn't because people didn't have the money. Um, so birthdays and Christmases was the, the sort of the two times of the year where you, you got to buy, you know, treat yourself to a toy, whatever it would be. And the Christmases I had, excuse me. As a family, were excellent. They really were. I mean, there were some of the my favourite times in my life. You know, happy times. We didn't get. I don't want to sound like some. You know, back when I was a lad. But I mean, I didn't get an awful lot. Some of my friends. I mean, my best friend. He would get. He would get. Ten times what I got. Um, you know, but I, and I had. I mean, I had a fantastic Christmases growing up as a child. Were were brilliant, they really, really were. And then, you know, I got married and, you know, Christmases were good because it was all about spending time with the family and what have you. And back in the sort of 80s, you didn't ask, you didn't ask people what they wanted for Christmas, you just bought them stuff and you were grateful for it. And don't get me wrong, you know, some of the presents I got were absolutely bullshit you know real crap presents my favorite crap present had to be uh this is sort of i don't know this would be late 80s early 90s uh vhs tapes you know d dvds weren't weren't out then so it was all vhs tapes and you would ask for you would ask for a, a couple of films for your uh, your christmas you know, terminator 2 or whatever Jurassic Park. This was before streaming services. This is this is before the internet existed. So, you know, your Netflix and your Paramount and oh that bollocks. That didn't exist. The only way you could watch a film back in the sort of eighties and nineties was either watching it when it came on TV or going to a video shop or buying a, a tape, you know, buying a film. So, you know one of my probably most common presents was, uh, it was like, you got obviously CDs, 
um, was getting a getting a film on VHS, and uh, yeah, one of the the presents I got one year was a a storage box. It was basically just a, a large drawer, and it was it looked like an Atari Twenty Six Hundred with the the teak veneer finish. <laughs> it was pure nineties. And that was what I got from my car, and I think it was my in-laws, I don't know, my in-law, my mother-in-law or something at the time. And um, yeah, what a shit present, but you know, <laughs> that's how we rolled back then, you know. And nowadays, it's, you don't really buy presents for people because they're too, they're too fussy, they, you know, if you don't buy them exact what they want, they, they they'll say, oh, keep the receipt, I'm going to take it back. So now we have gone from, you know, buying surprise presents for people to uh, getting them exactly what they want, you know, and it's just, we've completely lost where we're going with Christmas. Um, part of it as well, well, a huge part of it for me, is my parents are no longer here. Um... So, you know, I spend, I spend my Christmas, I go to my girlfriend's house, oh, excuse me, it's just when I talk constantly, I forget to breathe, and hence the reason I end up yawning so much. Um, I go to my girlfriend's uh, for Christmas, and all her family are there, so I mean, it's, it's nice, but it's the, Christmas seems to start earlier and earlier and earlier, you know, from sort of mid-September, October, people are buying stuff and, you know, Christmas decorations and what have you, and people just go mental. They go absolutely mental. I don't know how people can afford that. I really don't, because we're all, we've all got less money. Um, you know, I don't know how people can afford to spend daft amount of money. Um, but, yeah, it just... It, it start. It does literally seem to get earlier and earlier and earlier, and then, yeah, I mean, I, I had a nice time on Christmas Day, but my girlfriend was catering for about I think it was eight people in total, and she was absolutely stressed to the max. I mean, she spent the whole day cooking and just running after people. Everybody else sat in her arse, and she was just you know, running about, do you want a cup of tea, do you want a coffee, making all the food, cooking all the food, um, I was, I was trying to do my bit, I mean, I'm a completely shit, uh, my phone's just distracting me, like nothing in there, um, yeah, I was, I can't cook at all, I turn it around so I can't see it, thank you very much, um, I was, I was doing my bit by doing dishes, <laughs> quite literally, I was, I was like a waiter, I was picking up things, I was delivering cups of coffee and what have you. So, yeah, Christmas Day was just an absolute ball of stress. Um, and, I mean, it, it, it was fun. We, 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 you know, we played some games and what have you. And it, was, it was good fun. But then the next day, when they all went, they all went home on... Uh, they all went home on Christmas, Christmas Day night. And... You know, when we shut the door, we're like, thank fuck, that's over. And I I really don't know how people can go through with that. Um, I mean, I was uh, talking to the devil once, I'm trying to phone me, I'll answer that in a, a wee bit. Um, yeah, we the, the Christmas Eve, we went out to the shops and she was buying all this food and people were just running about daft, barging into you with our trolleys and and even even being in the roads, people were in such a rush. You know, the number of times I went through to my girlfriend's house on uh, Christmas Day and I think I, got, I almost got taken out with other cars about twice on the journey. People drive like absolute maniacs. Um, I saw a, a, a stupid joke on Facebook and it's like... Uh, don't forget, folks, you need to stockpile food for 30 days because the shops are going to be closed for 24 hours. And it's true, people go absolutely mental buying stuff. 
and the shops are open on Boxing Day. You know, I mean, even on Christmas Day, there's garages. I get that because obviously petrol, you know, you can't afford to run out of petrol. But uh, yeah, Boxing Day, the world, Christmas is finished. Christmas is finished and it's back to the grind. And I just hate that. I absolutely loathe that. And, um, you know, just when you see how much debt people must get themselves into, for what? I don't know. I don't know. I know I'm getting old. I was up at my sister's house tonight or this afternoon and we were talking about social media and just how, you know, there's a number of generations of, like, I call them kids, you know, 16 years old upwards. They've got to look perfect. Girls have got to have the perfect lips. They've got to have false eyelashes. They've got to have eyebrows drawn in with marker pens, or at least that's what it looks like. I mean, it's ridiculous. Have you ever, ever been in a pub with your mates and you've seen a girl come in with amazing eyebrows and you're like, whoa, look at that, check her out, check out her eyebrows, by the way, man. Whoa, whoa. Never. I've never done that. And I just think they look ridiculous. Now, I know that's because I'm a certain age. But when I'm one of these people, when I'm up at the shops or on a train, whatever, I like to... I like to people watch and I know that sounds creepy. I don't do it in a creepy way. I don't stare at people. But I just like to kind of observe, you know, as everybody else is on their phones, they don't even see you looking at them. And I just, I look at people and I think, I wonder what they're doing, you know, what are they about? What's their history? Um, and you see all these girls of a certain age, 16, 18, 20 year old, and they all look the same. They all look identical. And it just, it saddens me. And you know what? As a, a man of 56 year old, our generation are completely invisible to these people. They won't even look you in the street. They've got no time for you. You know, and the thing is, some people might be saying, yeah, but that it's always been like that. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. When I was a kid, I was... I was brought up to be polite. I was brought up to respect people. So when I was out and about, if I saw an old person, I would always make a point of saying hello. I would hold the door open for them. If I was on a train, I would get up. I would give them my seat. And I'm sure there are some decent kids out there, but it just it just saddens me so much when you see how society has become. It's, we're so obsessed and preoccupied about how we look. And again, some people will say it's always been that way. No, it hasn't. When I was at school, yeah, to a slightly certain degree, when you got to a point, I mean, I didn't, up until, I don't know, 16, I did not give a flying fuck as to what I looked like. I didn't care about what my hair looked like. I didn't care about having fancy training shoes or designer jeans, you know, there was no way my mum was going to buy me them, but nobody was like that, none of us, we were all just innocent kids, and that's the thing, we had a childhood, you know, I, I stopped believing in Santa Claus, I don't know, t 10 years old, whatever, maybe not as young as old as that, I don't know, but, you know, life was so much simpler, we enjoyed things, we appreciated things, now we've just, we've just turned into this greedy, selfish, self-obsessed, selfish uh, society where we don't give a shit about anybody else unless it's your friends or your family, whatever. Holy shit, I don't know. What, what, what's happened? How have we gone down this path? Um, I mean, I sometimes think to myself, are we better off now than we were back in the 80s? I don't think... I don't think for one second, yeah, I obviously earn more, more money now than I did back in the 80s, but, you know, look at look at inflation, look at the price of petrol, look at the price of houses. This house that I, uh, that I, I say I own, I've got a mortgage on it, I paid £125,000 for that uh, five years ago. I was looking on a website, 
This house actually sold for £21,000 back in 2001. £21,000! And I paid £125,000. It went up £124,000 no, uh, or whatever it was in the space of like, what, 18 years or 20 years I suppose. But mental, absolutely mental. But Anyway, listen, I'm going to, I'm going to stop complaining because I'm t I've turned into a grumpy old bastard. Uh, <laughs> but no, I don't, um, I don't mind admitting. I think hate is a slightly strong word, but I'm not a fan is probably the best way to describe it. I don't look forward to Christmas. I do kind of... I go, oh God, here we go, Christmas is just around the corner. Um, I, I suppose I do dread it slightly, the same with New Year. Now, I don't know whether I've got the seasonal something disorder, whatever it's called, sad disease as they call it. It's people who, there are, there are, there are people out there at this time of year when it gets dark, there's, there's no daylight, you know, it gets pitch dark by three o'clock and then it's... Uh, it doesn't, you know, it's it doesn't. It's dark until eight o'clock in the morning, and then it's dark again at three o'clock. And there are there are people who do suffer from this syndrome where they just get really depressed. I don't think I'm one of them, but I categorically hate this time of year now. I really do. It was different when I was a kid when there was snow. You could get in sledge, and you know you could do all that kind of stuff. But I really, really detest this time of year, and I'm actually delighted. I'm I'm happy that Christmas and New Year, well, New Year's almost over. Um, I do like not being at work for a few days, but I would much rather be off when it's nice, in the spring, in the summer. The great thing is the shortest day is now past, um, which means it's going to start getting lighter. You know, I think every couple of days it gets lighter, about two minutes earlier each day, which is, uh, which is great. So, yeah, I'll be glad to see the back of this Will I do another, uh, because I cancelled the, the Christmas special with, uh, with Dave, it got me thinking, will I be, will I do another Christmas special? Um, right now, the way I'm thinking, probably not. It depends how I am uh, this time next year. You know, if I'm in a good mood, if things are going alright in my life, then I might. Um, but... I would find it really, really, really difficult to get enthused about Christmas. I know, I mean, my mate Dave, he's a massive Christmas fan. He loves it. There's loads of people. And, you know, fair play. I wish I wish I got excited about Christmas, but I don't. Um, and there's, there's so many more, you know, there's so many more people of a certain age that are like this. Um, I mean, one of my mates, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go naming names, but one of my mates, uh, he doesn't have any real close family at all and uh, do you know how many Christmas presents he got? None. Absolutely none. <laughs> you know, it's when you're a when you're a young adult, you know, you and you hear people people talk about, oh I spent Christmas on my own, you'd think, how can that be possible? How can how can you not have people around you? But it can be very, very easy, you know, if you're not married, you're divorced or separated or whatever. You know, your parents are no longer here. So yeah, my mate got zero, he, got, he didn't get a single present to open. Um, so it's no wonder, you know, people don't like Christmas. Um, I think, I think, again, I think it's, you're, if you're of a certain age, you, you know, you look forward to it being over and like I said I'm now delighted that it's passed I can look forward to lighter nights and can I get back out and, and do stuff so anyway right um, I had my Christmas day I was at my girlfriend's until the 27th I think it was um, I was taking part in a pool competition yesterday I didn't realise but the guy that was playing actually played for Scotland, he was like a master, um, he was, I mean, he must be mid-60s, and uh, he beat me five, no, he beat me 4-3, so I was delighted with that, yeah, disappointed I got beat, but you know what, to take three frames of somebody who has represented their country, quite chuffed with that, 
Uh, so uh, tonight, yeah, I'm going out with my mate because he's going to play, have a few frames of pool, uh, have a few Tia Marias, and then tomorrow, what's tomorrow, the 30th, I'm going up to my sister's um, with my daughter and her boyfriend uh, to what we're going to be doing, we're going up for a meal. And then on the 31st, um, which is like Hogmanay in Scotland or New Year's Eve if you're from any other part of the world, I'm going to a bowling club uh, through in Falkirk. This will be the first New Year's Eve that I've not been in the house for, I don't know, I would say 20 years. You know, I've never gone out in New Year. Um, I've got no interest in going out in Edinburgh. I mean, in Edinburgh they have one of the biggest street parties. Um, the problem is, you go to one of these things, You've, if you want a hotel in the place, you'll be spending an absolute fortune. There is, uh, you can't get a taxi. You can't even drive in. So you can't get back. So why would you want to go into that? So yeah, this is the first. This will be the first hug mini that I've been out going to a bowling club. I'll have a few. Uh, I'll have a few beers, I think, since make the most of it. The first, I've got no plans. Uh, actually, the first uh, of January at night time, I'm planning to do a live stream. Uh, I don't know what form it's going to take. I don't know whether I'm going to be playing games. Uh, I might get one of my mates on to join me just for a week and catch up and chat. Uh, that's the kind of plan uh, yeah and then on this 3rd of January um, La Cosa and myself are going to be doing a, a live stream of the PDC darts We're, we can't actually show you the darts what you're going to have to do if you want to watch it because it's really if you're going to watch on catch up it's pointless because I can't obviously for copyright reasons I can't show you the darts but what you're going to have to do is Tune into the darts, and then we will provide the commentary. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. We'll give it a go. Um, <laughs> that's going to be in the 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 third of January, third of January at night time. So YouTube wise, uh, I'm not going to apologise because I don't think I've got any. I don't think I need to apologise to people for not putting out content. But. My content has been pretty threadbare um, the last while. It's for a number of reasons. My daughter, um, and I was I was thinking about this a couple of days ago. My daughter lives with me. Um, she sits in the, her bedroom is next to my games room, and whilst I'm not a shy person, I mean you know God. I, Bloody presented Blackpool with you know a couple hundred people. I'm not a shy person. I'm not massively comfortable um, recording videos when she's next door. It's a weird one. Don't know why. Um, so that's part of the reason. The second part of the reason is she's been hogging my computer. Um, she's got her computer. She's got a computer in her bedroom, which is quite old, and she was moaning to me about it doesn't play this game. It doesn't play that game, and. So she's been using my computer and I ended up kind of having it, having it out with her a couple of days ago. I says, look, I'm in it. You know, that's my computer. I do spend a lot of time on it, you know, whether I'm watching videos, whether I'm recording, whether I'm playing games, whatever. So that in itself has kind of impacted on making videos. But that's just a short term thing. I know in the last 24, eh, 24 hours, the last eh, year, my content has changed enormously, probably even over the last two years. It's gone from putting out kind of regular videos, um, you know, couple a week, Friday waffle, uh, the Sunday live stream, to the point that I do very, very little pre-recorded stuff, which I do miss. Um, you know, live streams are good fun, but they're quite limiting because all you can really do is either just talk about stuff or play games. Um, whereas when you're doing pre-recorded stuff, you can kind of come up with, you know, different topics, the top 10 worst games or whatever. Um, so yeah, these have kind of dried up quite a lot. I mean, I did put out a few in the last few months, but these are videos I've recorded. What I tend to do is if I get a, 
a chunky time, whether I'm, you know, off, not off work, but, you know, on holiday, whatever, then I'll try and make a few videos and kind of keep them for later on. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I, my, my, my YouTube content has largely become, you know, live streams. Nice and nasty podcasts are good fun. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the one with Dan Wood. He's a, a lovely guy. He did that last week. Um, that will still continue. Friday Waffles, I don't get any any questions. Um, I did get one from Milthy Swinbuckle now. I'm going to apologise, Milthy. I do appreciate you taking time to ask questions. I mean, you've been keeping me going with questions for much, much longer than most people. I did look at your last question um, and I'm not going to answer it. I just... I don't know, it's not really, I know it's a bit of fun, um, but I couldn't really think of any entertaining sort of answers or response to, to make it worthwhile recording. I mean, my, uh, I know like my mate Del, uh, Del Boy, he's, he's got his blog. His blog is very, 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 very varied. Try saying that when you're drunk, I'll try that later on. Um, he does obviously the news, he does shout outs, he thanks people for messages, he gets lots of questions, he talks about video games, he talks about films, so he's got a whole kind of variety of stuff, um, whereas my videos are, they're, they're, I'm not really ever going to talk about films, whatever, um, it's all going to be either just kind of random stuff about what I've been up to, or it's going to be video games because that's what my channel is about so you know i hope you don't you know think badly of me not answering it i just felt it didn't really it wasn't something i could provide uh an answer to that would be make it entertaining at all so i decided to not uh, answer it mate hopefully you, you you appreciate that um but yeah Apart from Milfy, nobody else really asks me questions. Um, I get a very, very odd one. Um, don't know why. Um, I don't know why because people who ask Adele questions, and I'm not going to name names, but they all give Adele questions yet they don't give me any. Don't know why. Uh, <laughs> perhaps they don't want to hear my answers on it. Um, but as I've said time and time, and I don't even know why I'm saying this because nobody listens, you know, it doesn't have to be a specific question. What is your favourite? What's your top five? You know, blah, blah, blah. It can just be a topic. What are your thoughts on the, the ZX81? Um, actually, um, there was a, a young lady, Michelle, um, she posted a question uh she was asking if I had a ZX81 that I was willing to sell. I do, Michelle. If you're watching this, put your comment down below. Um, I'll try and get in touch and we can try and come up with... Um, we'll, I'll need to make sure it's working first and find I think I've got a power pack for it. I will have. But if you're wanting to buy it off me, I'm sure we'll come to some kind of agreement. You know, it's not going to be a daft price, so let me know um, and we'll, we'll get something sorted. I still want to sell stuff. Um, again, I, I tried to sell a few things on uh, on eBay and they just, there was no response. I don't know, are people not buying retro systems anymore? What are your thoughts? Has, has the, the bubble burst? I mean, I watched a video um, recently and they were saying that like the price of video games, like that you, you can probably remember two or three years ago there was a, a copy of Super Mario 64 and the the N64 went for like one and a half million dollars. Apparently that very same game is sold for like two hundred thousand dollars, which is still a, a stupid amount of money. But prices have, you know, these artificially high prices have kind of changed. Um but yeah, I don't know, don't know what it is. Um I mean I, I've got so much stuff that I want to get rid of. It's trying to find the easiest way to do it. I don't really want to have to post stuff. It's a pain in the arse. You've got to get boxes. You've got to get it packed up. Uh, and then you're on the risk of somebody getting it and then they, they, they claim it doesn't work. It's broken. It's not what you said it was going to be. 
So, I don't know, I just wish somebody would come in my front door and say, I'm wanting to buy all this stuff off, off you and I would just make up prices and agree a decent price for everything. Um, because, like I said, I've got my mister, um, which that caters for 99% of my video game playing. Um, all the other CD-based systems, the Sega Saturn, the PlayStation, all these, I would gladly get rid of, you know, in a heartbeat, um, sell them um, and get rid of them and get some money for, you know, for, for something else. So if you are interested in anything, let me know. But like I said, Michelle, get in touch and we'll see if I can work something out uh, and get you sorted by ZX81. Um, <clears throat> anything else I want to talk about? Uh, talking about films very, very briefly. Um, for my, my birthday, my birthday, my Christmas even, um, I got myself, my girlfriend, well, I, I, I gave some money towards it because it was quite expensive. She got me a Panasonic 4K DVD player, whatever it is. And, uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I never really realised how good uh, films looked and sounded or could sound and how they could look. Um, so I went up to CEX, is it Cakes? Sex? How do you pronounce it? I don't know. Um, I went up there and uh, I bought, I spent about 24 quid and I got about, I don't know, 10, no, probably more than 10 DVDs, some box sets. I got like Aliens 1, Alien 2, Batman, Big Returns, all that kind of stuff. The problem that I found, there wasn't an awful big selection. Um, and most of the films that I bought were kind of Marvel films. Which, yeah, I bought them because they will look good, they'll sound great as well. Um, but it's the kind of film you watch once and you're no likely to kind of go back and watch it again. But uh, yeah, I'm really, uh, I mean, the great thing is, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this. Back in the day, um, when I was lad, I used to, uh, these are, hang on, they're on the wrong discs. I used to, I used to hire DVDs from Love Film, and then I used to copy the, the discs. So I have quite literally, there you go, Ah, there is a case, I think there's 200 discs, I mean what have we got here, 28 days later, 21 grams, analyse that, airplane, airplane 2, uh, I've been there's pet, shot at glory, um, hairspray, why have I got that, and god knows why, Apocalypto, Black Hawk Down, Bad Boys, Brewsters, Millions, the list goes on and on and on and on, um, so many good films, so, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna start watching a lot more films now. Now that I've got a, an excuse to watch them because you know getting great sound uh, and I never I never really realised what the difference having good sound in a film makes um, and that that's always been the difference from part of it being on a bigger screen from watching it on a, a TV with you know left and right speakers going to the cinema and getting the full kind of uh, Atmos, whatever you want to call it, Dolby Atmos surround the sound, it's just, it's really, it's, it's kind of invigorated me want to watch films again. So that is that, uh, gaming wise what have I been doing, I've been playing, still been playing, getting into Power Wash Simulator again, <laughs> I notice, uh, by the way Kev down the rabbit hole, Kevin, I did watch uh, <coughs> you were you were playing it on VR, and you're asking me a few questions. And I, I, you know what? It's one of these things you watch something on your phone, and then you think, right, I'll need to, I'll need to respond to that, and then you completely forget. So I will respond, mate. But been playing that, um, still been playing. I did do. I've made a, a Pico Eight uh, video, which I've just got to kind of finish editing. So that will be coming out probably next week. I've got another, uh, I stumbled over another incredible demo for the Commodore 64. Um, so I've recorded that in the mister and I'm going to be putting that out um, again in the next couple of days. So that's kind of it folks. So yeah, you know, thanks for staying with me. Um, you know, there's, uh, I'm conscious that I'm not doing as much 
um, video wise as I used to do. I mean, I was doing like things like watch with uh, watch with main meister where we would watch classic video game programs, and I would do some kind of witty commentary. Uh, I've not been doing as much of that recently, um, but. You know, I'm not going anywhere, I'll still continue to make videos, um, but if you want, like I said, if you want waffles to be more regular, then I need I need your input, simple as that, um, because there's been a few times in the last few weeks where I was going to record a waffle and I'm like, you know what, I've got nothing to say, um, I'm not one of these people that, I'm not going to record something just for the sake of getting something out. It's pointless. It's got to be moderately entertaining. Um, you know, so if you do want to see the, the Friday Waffle being more regular, then I need your help, folks. It's as simple as that. You know, um, even if I just had a couple of questions every week, that would give me something to talk about. Um, so, anyway, listen, folks. I'm going to go and get a shower before I head out to get drunk. Um, yeah, I will uh, I will be back. This is the final video from me this year. I might get that demo one put out in the next couple of days before uh, the new year. But uh, yeah, the next live video will be next year. All going well, it will be January the 1st, 7 o'clock to 9, something like that. Don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, I said I might get a mate to join me. I might play some games, it'll no doubt be uh, me talking pish, that much I can guarantee. So anyway folks, I'm going to let you go, have a great weekend, and you know, if I don't speak to you until next year, have a wonderful uh, new year, and I do wish you all, everybody, the very, very best. And as always folks, thank you very much for watching.